Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we are once again taking a look at a base which could be used as a starting base for your new survival playthrough. Simply get rid of your drop pod and spawn this in and you'll have a great start. So this is called the BSE Expedition Outpost. It comes with a small little vehicle that you can see there and everything you need to get started in survival. It uses no mods, it uses a few DLC items, but ultimately it's good for vanilla playthroughs. So pressing F10 and finding the BSE Expedition Outpost, there we go, you can see the other items that I've done before, including the atmospheric fighter, which I used quite a lot, the parasite, and the light attack vehicle Dingo. But yes, the Expedition Outpost weighs in at 595 large blocks, and you can see right here that they've actually split out what the block count and PSU limit is for both the base and that small vehicle. So the base itself is only 319 and the cargo transporter which is that little vehicle is 276. So there you go. If you don't want that transporter you can simply delete it once you spawned it in, it's all fine. It uses a few scripts such as the automatic door and airlock, automatic LCDs and the driver assist for the little vehicle. And you can see there we require the decorative block DLC pack because we do use some of the sofas and kitchen blocks and beds and whatnot to make it look even better. So where do we start? I suppose we'll start with this little ramp. So up this little ramp we've got some stairs and some ramps with some windows going on the side to create a fake railing. If we come up to the vehicle platform we've got some raised half slope blocks onto some half blocks with a bunch of unfinished catwalks to finish off this area with some lights, just make sure you can see in the dark. And there is the vehicle just sitting on top of there. I'll come back to the vehicle a bit later. Yes, as we move around, we've got some unfinished passageways, which can be walked through. And it'll just take you to the opposite side of where the vehicle is sitting. Just a novel way of getting in and out. Over here, we've got an LCD screen with a icon on it. And behind that, we've got an assembler with a camera. And below that, We've got a survival kit, a programmable block which has the auto door and airlock script. Up the little ladder over to this programmable block, we then have the automatic LCD screens. And above that, we've got some solar panels, which are just covering up this large cargo container here, which comes across on a connector that allows you to park your vehicle up all nice and safe. Dropping down past the cargo container, we can see the hydrogen tank which gets buried into the ground. And then moving along around the side, we just got some nice block work there, just to keep everything sort of all protected. We've got a reactor in there, we've got an oxygen tank. If I come down and below, you can see we've got the back of the survival kit, we've got an assembler right there, a beacon with an antenna that gets buried under the ground, a refinery which sits right there. Then moving across to here, we can see inside the little station at the medical bay and all that, but below there, we've got four batteries, and then some lovely block works just to keep us propped up off the ground in case some of the parts get damaged. You've got many points of contact on this. Around the front we've got a ladder which comes up onto these unfinished catwalks which allows you to get in and out and leads down to the vehicle bay. Coming up and above we just see the glass container basically which is your living quarters and then just some lovely block work going along the top. And last but not least a laser antenna just sits up right there. It's a very simplistic building, but the way that it's been set up does make it look a lot more complicated, and it does look good. So now I'll take control of my character, and we'll just have a quick nosy around on the interior. I'll drive that vehicle around and show you what I did to this base. So walking around here, we can just walk through these passageways right here. We can look up, do a bit of repair work on that connector if you wanted to. There is the programmable block with the auto door and airlock. We can just climb up this ladder, which will then take us to the top of the outpost. Where we can access that program block if we want to, but we can, thanks to this little ramp, go above over this air vent and walk across this roof if we needed to do a bit of maintenance on the top. So if a drone came past and started blasting you, that is how you'd repair the top without using your jetpack. Dropping down and let's just go around and do it properly. So we can walk around here and come past these little catwalks, up this window and around to here where we have a green light and a orangey yellow door. Opening this up and coming through, it should close by itself because of the script. There we go. And now we can go on the interior. We have 
fairly sizey room. It's quite cramped, but it's got everything you need, and there is plenty of open space for you to run around and maybe have two or three people in here as well. So we've got a medical bay in here to respawn on and to change your outfit. Coming through this little gap, we've got our DLC planter, and then we got our store and our contract vendor. So we could use this as a public outpost and have people come here if they want to do a bit of trading and that. Below this air vent over here, we've got a cargo container which connects everything up. So if you wanted to put some ice inside here, you could do that. And now go over to the O2H2 generator and produce your precious oxygen to survive wherever you paste this. Moving across to here and coming past, we've got our DLC sofa, which we can sit on and have a little rest. A small little table which consists of two corner parts where we can sit on a chair and have a bit of food. And around this corner is where we prepare our food. We can just hop into that chair in front and then hop backwards through the magic of space engineers. But yes, you could just cook your food here, sit in this chair, have your food and go off and do a bit of mining. Coming around to here, we've got a control station which has a little bit of information. So it's telling you the expedition outpost, which is the name. It's got the name of the little vehicle. Your reactor, solar power, batteries, and we've got your hydrogen and cargo used and whatnot. So it's got everything you need to know about your base in here, so you just hop in the chair, take a little look at this, and you'll be good. Moving across and through here, we've got more DLC blocks. So we've got a toilet over here. We've got then a passage over here, which you could just use as a changing room if you want to do that type of thing. Some beds for you to go to sleep in. We then got our locker or armory, I can't remember which is which. That's the locker, that's the armory. Another bed over here and another locker over here. So that about sums up the interior and exterior of the building. So now it's time to go in that little vehicle. It's a very nice interior actually. I really like it, it's very homey. It's not too crowded, it's got everything you basically need. Yeah, it's a very good starting point if you want to skip a few steps in survival mode. Now if I can get out of this door, we'll come over to this small little vehicle which consists of mainly batteries, solar panels and steel blocks. We've got some nice paintwork there in the warning label of black and yellow. We've got plenty of wheels on there so we can risk losing one or two. We come up and above, there's our DLC cockpit, we've got a camera, spotlight, antenna and we've got some blinking lights with a logo on top. Getting inside it, we've got plenty of options where we can press P to disconnect ourselves and just drive off. So there we go. We are on the moon, so do forgive the floatiness of everything. So number one in the vehicle is the view straight forwards. Number two is to help us reverse. So we're on the back, we can just connect ourselves up. So number three is how we're going to turn on the driving assistant. Pressing the button will then light up these LCD screens. Pressing number four will put the parking brake on. Five and six seem to raise and lower the wheels. Pressing number five is going to drop us down and number six will raise us up. Number seven is for the lights, so pressing that will then just turn off all the lights on this little vehicle. Pressing it again will turn it on and they'll resume their little pattern. Number eight is for the ore detector to go and find your precious ore and go and do a bit of mining. Number nine is the parachutes, which we can turn on and off. Tab number two, three, four, I have nothing else on, so we can just go and have a little drive around. So bearing in mind that I am on the moon, so things may be a wee bit dodgy. So there we go, just raised up the wheels a bit. And we can just float around here. Let's try and do a bit of a ramp. Hopefully this doesn't just straight up crash. Whee! And there we go. And then we can just come and fall back down to the ground gracefully. And there we go. What do we actually have inside this? We do have some cargo containers, so we got a medium and two smalls, so we can carry a fair amount of stuff in here if you did go out mining with this vehicle. So there we go, we just keep on driving around. I forgot how great the moon is. Whee! Up we go again! Oh, massive pit of death there. So that about covers the BSE Expedition Outpost and the little vehicle that comes with it. It's a fantastic little thing to spawn in your world if you wish to have a easier start. And yes, I'll show you a little thing that you could do. Because it does have a rather fancy shape. If I was to spawn this in once again, you'll probably notice that the actual shape of it looks almost like a ship. The main body, if you got rid of the vehicle platform, 
it makes a nice little ship, which is what I've done over here. So I've removed the vehicle platform and instead added a few thrusters onto the back of it. And voila, we now have a rather fancy space exploration vehicle. So yes, all I did was remove the catwalk, the vehicle, and just added a new set of ladders. On top, I've just replaced the blocks up here with some thrusters, added some more thrusters around the hydrogen tank and cargo container at the back, added a few blocks there for a bit of, well, decoration. Yes, a gyroscope and reactor was added on additionally, but we can come through this door here. Whoopsie, what happened here? Come on. There we go. We can come through this door over here. Get in here. I've added in a flight seat and we can use the Expedition Outpost as a small vehicle and fly it around. You would have to add a camera on the front there, which honestly looks like a perfect place to put it. You might need to put a regular block in there instead of that half block. Yes, you can just fly the base around and you've got yourself a nice little homey base to float around the universe in. So cook your food, view the lovely distance, view the planets, the Mars over there and the alien planet in the distance. It's a fantastic little base. It will be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video somewhere soon. Bye bye.